Hello Libra, welcome to your energy reading and this is for the first half of February. I hope you're doing well. This is a general reading, so take it as it resonates and drop the rest. It's almost impossible to have, you know, the entire uh, reading, all the messages uh, resonating with you. So that's why it's important to drop the rest, okay? If it doesn't apply to you, then, you know, uh, just move on, <laughs> right? And listen to the uh, next next interpretation okay so um we're going to see what the energies are like for you in the first half of february and then we're going to pick clarifiers um and also libra just so you know if you're interested to work on your spirituality consciousness work shadow work i have created a new channel where i will be teaching about spirituality consciousness work and shadow work so do follow me there um, the details are below this video or you can look for it and the um, the name of the channel is called Musings um, from the Past, Present and Future. Okay. So let's go. We will cut the deck and then see what the energy at the bottom is. Five of Cups. Ah, interesting. Five of Cups. And then we'll see. Ace of Swords, Clarity, Page of Swords. Wow, wow. Libra, Air Energies. This is the only one. Five of Cups is the only one um, that is, you know, an emotional energy. Um, <laughs> I hesitate to say this because... I'm not sure whether this is what all of you are, are really experiencing. Usually five of cups is about feeling a little bit um, a little bit down emotionally, right? In, in a little bit of state of sadness, you are mourning the loss of something or someone even, right? And that seems to be the underlying energy. However, the, the good thing is that um, you are coming out of this energy because we have here three uh, sword cups. Right, sword is about our mental capacity, our thinking, right? So Ace of Swords really is about clarity, right? And also a new way of thinking, right? And um, yeah, it's, it's a new way, new direction in a way, right? New ideas coming in, a uh, new way of thinking. And uh, Page of uh, Swords, which is, you know, so many signs got the Page of Swords, this particular round in reading this one is about vigilance this is about examining you know things in front of you i guess it makes sense that you'll be examining your resources examining opportunities right being very vigilant and keeping boundaries clear right this would be uh, this makes sense right uh king of swords is about integrity king of swords is also about um having this you know um this sense of clarity and um you know if you if you look at this you know i love how this is you know uh, being created right the 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 design and the pattern so when one if one upholds truth the king of swords upholds truth then there is integrity right there's energy of morality um but what we would like to know is why are these cards here, considering that you have these as cups. So let's um, let's pick some cards here, okay? This is for Libra. Let's pick some cards for Libra. Okay, so three cards to up. Usually I just pick two for, for each of these as clarifiers, but then we have three, so we're going to look at all three, okay? For this at least. Um, we have six of swords, four of cups, and then we have ace of cups, okay, relating to ace of swords. All right, let's pick ten of wands. We have temperance, the chariot, and then we have knight of wands. Okay, very interesting reading here. Uh, clarity, because you have clarity, 
you are beginning to see things a little bit differently in terms of how you want to live your life. So you decide to move on, right? So there is transitional energy, but you feel a little bit apathetic here. But this is a phase, just a short phase that you're going through, you know, like emotional, emotionally down. And now maybe I can understand why you feel this, you know, like a mourning, like a, a sadness, you know, a, a change is coming. Because you have clarity, you know that change is inevitable and there are certain things in your life right now in which you need to make some decisions, right? And you, you know that the way forward is bigger change coming up. And so you may go through a little bit of an emotional roller coaster, but that's fine because you will get, you know, at the end of it, you're going to have clarity through the heart. Your heart is going to open wide open. You're going to have, you know, greater compassion all right, about your, for yourself and about the situation. You're also walking away from a particular situation. You're leaving, right, a particular situation. It could be job. It could be your job. It could be certain uh, social circles that no longer serves you, I feel. Um, so you are leaving. You are saying, okay, I, have, I, have en I had enough, right, so I'm going. Um, at the same time, you are, I mean, you're doing that really to temper the energies, right? You're, you're trying to find um, the balance. You're rebalancing your energies, okay? So while you are, you know, examining your resources, looking at things, right? Looking at your options out there, you know that you need rest. So there's a lot of emotional resting and a lot of physical resting as well because you need to come into greater balance, and for you, Libra, I mean, you're really all about balance, right? Um, so to uphold morality, to uphold integrity, um, you decide that you're going to find a new direction. And you do find that new direction because chariot is about a new direction, about the journey forward. And you are quite excited about this journey forward because we have here a Knight of Wands, which is a really nice energy. This is inspired action. So it is a journey. It's almost like a two-week journey that you're taking, right? You're going through this entire process, but you're going to come out of it feeling really inspired. You know, it's like you're taking this two-week retreat to examine everything that is going on in your life. And through the two weeks, you're going to, it's like a, like a process, right? I can almost feel like this two weeks is like this story, right? That we, you know, like this fairy tale that we read that we read in a book, right? Once upon a time, something happens and then, you know, you go through, you dip and then, you know, the happily ever after, you, know, you find a direction, you have clarity and you stick to your morals and you take inspired action, right? And then you, you get this very clear direction as to how you need to move Libra, okay? So this is pretty exciting, I feel, right? This is good. Um, you're going to open your heart to greater compassion. Very nice. So let's pick a card. Let's have some um, inspiring message from the angels and archangels for Libra. Okay. What does Libra need to know? Does Libra need to know in terms of inspiration? What do we want Libra to know? Wow. Okay, one more time. We're going to do this. And if nothing pops, then... <laughs> Okay, no conditions unfavorable right now. Wait and look into other options and ask the angels to guide and comfort you. Okay, I can see exactly where this is coming from. If you want to make a decision right now, you want to like immediately jump into a direction, now is not the time, right? Because you have two weeks. Your time period is two weeks. You have to go through this whole process. And I feel like by the end of the two weeks, you the timing will be better. Okay, whatever the, the decision is, whether it is your personal life or professional life, the direction and taking inspired action is not now. You need to wait it out a little bit, okay? But uh, having said that, we're going to pick some cards, um, energies from the future self. We want to know by the end of the two weeks, what sort of energies will Libra be dealing with, okay? So by the end of the two weeks, what does Libra need to know? What kind of energies will Libra be dealing with? Oh, what's happening here? Okay. 
King of Swords. Okay. King of Swords. Twice. Integrity, morality. Reminders, telling you twice. So you are going to start that, that new cycle, right? End of two weeks, you're going to be clearer in your keeping to your truth, keeping to your morals, keeping to your integrity. That's, that's a strong, powerful energy to go on. Um, okay. All right. Well, dealing with some stuff. That's fine. We have five of cups, which is five of cups here. We had that. Feeling a little bit despair. So that energy may still continue, but if you keep your morals and your integrity right, then you'll be fine. Then you're letting go, right? Letting go, like, you know, um, letting go of stuff, right? As, as we have seen. Right, some stuff coming in, a little bit of apathy, a little bit of depressive energies, letting go. Um, okay, it's almost like a confirmation of what we just said. Six of Pentacles, giving and receiving is coming back, coming into balance. Giving and receiving is very similar to the temperance energy. And then we have the Hierophant. Okay, Hierophant energy is about belief systems, it's about. Um, it could also mean uh, in, in certain um, traditions, right? Uh, some people see the Hierophant as like someone who is, who blesses someone else, you know, like, like, like someone who is, what, what do you call those people? Justice of peace, right? People who, who marry couples, right? Um, this is about a structure, is about a certain system or a structure that helps society to blossom or to grow, right? The Hierophant energy. Um, it's about guidance as well. So you are going to be in touch with higher guidance, Libra. And basically, all these cards, they popped out where we're trying to find out what the energies are like for you uh, by the end of these two weeks is exactly what this entire reading is all about. It's, it's kind of like giving you the summary. But let's pick some clarifiers. What else does Libra need to know? What else does Libra need to know? We just won one card. Just one card. What else does Libra need to know? Six of Swords. Transition, right? Definitely. There's a need for you to accept lessons, not to resist the lessons. That's a good reminder. Thank you. Oh, we have six of swords here too. So a need to accept lessons as they come and not to resist them because the resistance will make the journey much more, much more difficult, Libra. Okay. Let's see what else. Ace of Wands. Okay. Inspiration. Um, new project, new opportunities coming your way. Okay. You know, I mean, we picked so many cards for you, Libra, but your reading at the end of the day is very uncomplicated. It's really simple. It's telling us a story. It's telling us exactly what is going to happen, you know. And um, yeah, that's it. So Libra, I wish you well, right? And know that all things will work out for the best. And, you know, you have a lot of double cards. You have here um two king of swords right it's very powerful king of swords you also have the chariot very powerful and then taking inspired action knight of wands so you you are fine you are well right despite the difficulty and the um, ups and downs you may be facing but you'll be fine by the end of this two weeks you will look back and say hey you know i journeyed and i got where i need to go and i'm good Okay, so Libra, if this message resonates with you, please give me a like and subscribe to my channel. Uh, do comment below about your personal experience, whether this reading resonates or not, and how and what other insights did you get out from this reading. Okay, have a wonderful time, and I'll see you again. Bye for now.